Hi, welcome to my channel. This is my very first ever YouTube video. Sorry if you can hear the dogs barking. It's kind of hard when you have four of them to keep them all hush hush at the um, same time. But my name's Harley. I'm 22, single mom, work night shifts. Um, but I will get into that in another video if you guys would like after this one. Um, but I figured for my first video, I would start off with going through my bookshelf behind me. Um, I don't have a lot. I did thin out once I moved back into my mom's, but I'm hoping to collect more, get more bookish goodies and everything, and just progress into the reading field. I'm trying to get back into it. I used to love reading. I was a bookworm in high school, and I want to get back into it because my daughter loves reading books, and we read books all the time together. So, without any further ado, please enjoy the video and let's jump right into it. I'm gonna give you guys a little overview now that I turned the camera around. Since I'm new to this I'm filming on my phone with a ring light and a microphone on it trying to get into things but here's a little overview of my little bookshelf I have at the moment trying to expand it and everything. Um, so starting in this corner we have two pictures of my daughter for when she was a month old and I believe she was three months old in this one. I don't know, she's two now and crazy so it's hard to keep up with the time. With a little she shell on top because her and I love the beach. Um, I love anything skulls, sugar skulls. I'm more into like the gothy anytime. I'm not really picky, put it this way. I'm gonna cover this up because probably a little inappropriate for YouTube. Um, but I am 22. <laughs> Next we have a Mad Hatter Hot Topic exclusive Pop Funko. He is one of my favorite characters from Alice in Wonderland besides the Mad Hare and Cheshire. Then of course we have <laughs> the alcohol, but I loved the bottle. I thought how cute it was. I'm going to decorate it some way, one way or another. I just haven't figured out how I want to yet. And then finally in this corner we have two Coca-Cola bottles and they are limited flavors. One is Georgia Peach and the other one is California Raspberry. I got these from a co-worker at work, one of my nurses. Um, that is for a later video. I'll explain what I do. Then if we go over in this corner, don't mind my little tea lights, I have a book on dragons and a bunch of comics and um, I have two Loki comics. I'm trying to collect the rest of the series. I'm a big fan of Harley Quinn because my name is Harley. So I have two of hers. I have the Suicides, which are out of order right now. I'll have to fix that. But I have all the Suicide Squad ones. Um, and then I have two um, magazines based on haunted places and ghost adventures because I love that stuff. You know me. So I'm super natural. Love it. Then I have a few books here. Some of these I've read, some of these I have not yet. Um, I know Werewolf, or sorry, Wereworld, Wereworld, Rise of the Werewolf. I cannot speak today. Rise of the Wolf, my bad. Sorry, I'm only writing on three hours of sleep. I haven't read yet. Billy the Kid, I read. Um, he's one of my old time favorite Western people to learn about. I have my scissors for when I work on blankets. I make crafts. So those are up there to keep from my child. I'm going to throw those back behind me on my bed. Um, I have my Alice in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass book here. I read this along with We Are All Mad Here, Little Mirror, that I don't use anymore. Then on top of that, I just have an Alice with... A bottle that says drink me her little potion just sitting on top just in case I need a bookmark um, then I have a book on Sherlock Holmes versus Dracula I haven't read that this is about self-realization I got this at Warp Tour some guy handed out for free so I was like whatever it's a book then I have my cute little snowman here for the holiday times but he stays out all year long I'm gonna move him over to get the rest of the books then these two here I actually read in high school the Giver and To Kill a Mockingbird. They were my two favorite to read in high school, so I had to have my own copy. Then when we go over to the next one, these are more of my horror thrillers. Um, 
mainly my poetry from Edgar Allan Poe, one of my favorite poets. Um, Grimm's Fairy Tales, love reading this book. Then I have both Zach Bagans, um, Dark World and Haunted, I Am Haunted, which I loved both of them. Such good books. Then this one is called Blood in a Feral. I started reading this and then I just, I got halfway through it and I lost interest. So I'm going to try picking it up again soon and see what I feel about it. But we'll, we'll give it a try. Then this shelf here is either books I need to read or finish. Like the Maze Runner here, I have to finish the Scorch Trials. I have to read The Death Cure, um, The Killing Order. And then I have The Night Circus, The. I can't read upside down, Turncoats, Gambit. And then I have The Counterfeit Harris. Um, actually, that sounds really good. I have The Meaning of Night. The Widow of the South. And then these are just for my daughter. They are mess-free paper because two-year-olds and markers, bad idea. Um, going over to my long shelf here, which is kind of a little messy because I'm still figuring out how I want to organize it. I have a few books and this is also like some of my Harry Potter stuff. I love Harry Potter too. I have a couple um, just little greeting cards that have supernatural quotes on them. I have Heartless, which was a wonderful read. Wonderful read. I have to read Six of Crows and Ace of Shades still. Then I have the um, Fantastic Beast, Quidditch Through the Ages, and then the Tales of the Beetle and the Bard for Harry Potter, the three books you know that they use in school. And then I have the whole series. I'm going to move my Dean Pump Pop Fico. Funko. Can't speak again. Then I have Sam over here as well. I'll get to the wands in a minute. I have Picture of Dorian Gray, which was a great read. Um, Dark World. This is actually a really good book. I wish this author made more. I could not put this book down. I read it in like a day and a half because that's how good it was. Um, and then I have my personal journal that I write in. Um, now to, we have the pump, the Pop Funkos, which is Dean and Sam, Love Supernatural. Now, I have two wands here. This one is one of my favorite characters. It is Draco Malfoy. I'm a Slytherin, if anyone wants to know. Um, so I have a little tag that comes with it. Um, but I have Draco's wand. I had to have his starting my collection. Um, eventually I'd love to collect more, but being a single mom, money's a little tight. So hopefully eventually I can collect more and expand my bookshelf and everything. Then the one I have up here is a character that will forever be missed and loved. If you all know who I'm talking about before I even show you. You are, oh, we're going to cry. Um, but again, I have the Noble Collection card. Again, the Noble Collection card. Um, but this is Severus Snape. Um, he, my favorite teacher. I loved potions, and he will always be remembered. Um, rest in peace, his actor. It was tough hearing that he died because the Harry Potter series now, it's hard to watch them knowing that he is no longer with us. Um, but then I have a handmade replica of Ron's wand from when he broke it. Um, this came in a geek gear box that I bought a while ago. I thought it was neat to have another wand in the collection that it's Ron's, you know, it's taped and everything and he's eating slugs and throwing up slugs. Um, so yeah, those are my wands right now. I'm hoping to expand soon. Um, now over here, this shelf is a little disorganized. This is some more pump, pump, pop Funkos. I cannot speak. I'm so sorry and I apologize. And then these are collectible vinyls as well that I got in Supernatural boxes. I only ordered two of them. 
Um, then I had to cancel because they were getting a little expensive. But I'm hoping I might pick them back up. But I have Crowley here. I have Castiel. Um, so I'm going to move these guys. Sorry for me sniffling. I'm just getting a cold and allergies. Oh, and then I have my little Solly figure. I love Disney. I'm a Disney nut too. Like, not hard to please me with thrills and whatnot and Disney. You'll see in a second. And then I love Black Butler. I love Magna, Maga, and or Mega, Mega, Maga. Never can pronounce it right. I have a speech impediment, so some words are very hard for me to pronounce. But I try, try my best. And then we have the first blade from um, Kane. I have Sebastian from Black Butler. This right here is just a syrup dispenser with the Supernatural logo on it. I have no idea what to do with it, so I just put it on my shelf. Like I said, we have Sebastian. And then we have one of my favorite Disney animals of all time. We have Miko from Pocahontas. He is just one of my favorites. He's so cute. You don't see a lot of Miko merchandise, so um, when I saw they had the Pop Funko, I had to snatch them up for myself. And then I also love Marvel in DC, if you couldn't tell by the um, comic books over there. But we have the Winter Soldier, Bucky Barnes, one of my favorite characters. And then my favorite... Well, yeah, he's my favorite Marvel Avengers villain would be Loki. I love Loki. I love Tom Hiddleston. He did such a good job with him. So I have Loki. They had a special edition one where he was, um, I believe, all white out. I can't remember. Um, I have to look him back up, but I want to get more. I'm trying to get um, Captain America and the rest of the collection going put these guys back up here um I don't like to take them out of the boxes just because I know some of them eventually will be worth some money um but that's just a personal preference of mine I know some people do take them out some don't I don't like to because one some can be worth money and two because my daughter has a tendency to break things so going down in this little shelf there's not much in here but I do have more pop vines um or Funkos and vinyls. I have a little Sally keychain. I love Nightmare Before Christmas too. Well, I'm not picky with Disney, really not. Um, it just, it depends. I have Disney Plus, so we watch a lot of it. We have another Hot Topic exclusive. It is Oogie Boogie with Bugs. And then we have a Jack Skellington, another limited edition vinyl collection. And then I have some Japanese fans here. And an old Victorian fan. I am really into the older vintage era times. And I collect stuff like this. My grandmother would help me um, before she passed. And then this I got in my Geek Gear box when I got it. It is a wax stamp set. It's a house wax stamp set. And of course mine's going to be Slytherin because I'm a Slytherin. I'm sorry, but it's just the house crest and it's a slither and has a little snake on it. Um, it's gold. I wish it was silver. Silver is one of my favorite colors. That never stays in the box, by the way. I drop it all the time. I dropped it on my toe once. That hurt. Um, so I'll put that there. And then moving along to this shelf, this is some of my movies. And this book here, The Requirem Red, I'm reading at work. Um, it's actually very good. I'm about, I'd say almost halfway through it on chapter 10. The chapters are a little longer, but I mean, it's good. I am very intrigued. I can't wait to see how it ends by Brian Chapman. And I think I'm going to look up more of his books because this is amazing read so far. Um, so then these are some of my movies that I've, that are my favorite dear to my heart that I don't want my daughter getting to. Um, and then two of my Xbox One's games. Yes, I'm a gamer too. Um, we have Nightmare Before Christmas, my favorite claymation by Tim Burton, my two um, Xbox One games, uh, Call of Duty, Black Ops 3, and then Game of Thrones. Yes, I'm Game of Thrones nerd too. I have all the Mighty Ducks, which were my favorite, well, one of my favorite old movies to watch. I have all the Pirates. I have both Fantastic Beasts series, all the Harry Potters. 
Then I have Crow, Tombstone, and then Hocus Pocus, one of my favorite Halloween time movies to watch. You gotta love the Sanderson sisters and Binks. But these are up away from my daughter because these are some of more of my dear near heart ones that I like to watch when she's not here. She does watch these. She has seen all of these. But these are more of mummy time <laughs> per se. And then finally over here, these are um, half of the Black Butler series. I got to get the rest of it. Oh, they are so good. They're just like a little comic book. They're backwards. So here is what the cover would look like potentially, but it is, um, they're backwards. Like if you can know how to read comic books, they're backwards. Um, you'd originally read them from left to right, but these ones you would read, um, right to left per se. Because here's all the back of the ending stuff and notes. But they are a good, quick, fun little read. When I was in high school, I have to get the rest of the series. Then these books over here are ones I read in high school and could not put down. If I couldn't find a book that I really wanted to read, I'd just pick one of these out of the series. These are The Chronicles of Vladimir Todd by Heather Brewer. I love 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 this series i have her um sister series to these the other three I, I don't know how i feel about those um because they more go into um his cousin or his friend i can't remember i think it's his cousin it's been forever since i read these but i just love 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 these i think my favorite out of the whole series would have to be either 11th or 12th grade because he's finally accepting um in my opinion who he was and what he turned into but that is everything that I have on my little bookshelf I'm hoping to expand and collect more soon and get more into the book community again and start reading and hopefully joining clubs and everything so if you guys so that's the end of it. Um, if you guys could like, subscribe, comment, leave me some tips, some tricks, um, help me out here. If you want to be critical, be critical. That's okay. I can take it. It's not going to hurt me. We all have opinions. Some people are nice. Some people are cool. It happens. It's the way of the world nowadays. Um, but helping me out would be great because this is something new I'm not used to. I wanted to try something out. I've always wanted to try it for a while, but just afraid because I never liked how I look and I know I don't have makeup on or nothing but I never really normally wear makeup um but yeah like subscribe and comment um and I think for my next video I'm gonna do either a what's in my CNA bag or a little bit about me like a Q&A question so I will link my Instagram down in the description so you can ask me questions and whatnot and go from there bye guys have a good day